Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jake from todaysiphone.com and here are this week's biggest stories. Okay, so first, really quickly, in news that would make Steve Jobs incredibly happy, Adobe has announced that it's basically killing off Mobile Flash. Uh, starting August 15th, no new devices will be able to install Mobile Flash and there will only be limited uh, updates and availability for devices that already have the program installed. So, I guess Apple was right about Flash after all. Alright, moving on, Bob Mansfield, Apple's Senior Vice President of Hardware Engineering, is retiring. For the next few months, there's going to be some sort of transitional period, and then Mansfield is going to be replaced by Dan Riccio, who is currently the Senior VP of iPad Engineering. Now, you'll know Mansfield from all those super cool Apple videos, you know, whenever they announce a new product, they have the people who made the product talking about the product in the video and Mansfield has been a regular fixture in those for a long time. Uh, he's been very instrumental in everything from the iPad to the iPhone and now all of Apple's hardware engineering um, and so it's definitely sad to see him go and it's definitely sad to see another member of you know Steve Jobs' dream team uh, leave Apple but I do think that our favorite products are going to be in capable hands with uh, Riccio and Tim Cook at the wheel. I think it's still safe to say that we should expect some awesome products from the company in the future. If you're interested we have Apple's full press release so link to that in the description down below. Alright now in application news both Google Drive and Google Chrome are finally available for iOS via the App Store. Uh, Google Drive is Google's new cloud-based storage system and uh, Google Chrome, as I'm sure you know, is Google's massively popular browser. Uh, the browser on the iPad and the iPhone is fast, it looks great, it has awesome tab browsing on, on every device, and it's definitely awesome. And if you're interested, we have a first looks and gallery, and we also have a video review from Daniel. So definitely check those out. Uh, I really, really like the Chrome browser, and I really think that it's going to give Mobile Safari a run for its money. I mean, there are other uh, web browsers in the App Store available right now, but I don't think any other third-party browser comes close to Google Chrome or Mobile Safari. Both Google Drive and Google Chrome are available in the App Store now for free, so go check those out. Alright, next, the iPhone turned 5 this week. It's kind of hard to believe that it's been 5 years since the iPhone was announced. I can still remember I downloaded the keynote on my laptop and I watched it in the car on the way to my cousin's house and I was just so excited um, until I heard about the price, but <laughs> I wanted one anyway and a lot of other people did obviously, but uh, not everybody thought the iPhone would be a success. Uh, one example, Matthew Lynn over at Bloomberg said the iPhone was a defensive product and that Apple might sell a few units to its fans, but it will not leave any lasting mark on the industry. I mean, looking back at those comments now, it's hilarious. I mean, this guy could not have been more wrong. But it's just crazy to look back and remember where the mobile phone industry was before the iPhone and see it how much it's changed since the iPhone came out. So I think I speak for all of you when I say a very happy birthday to you iPhone and uh, I'll see you in five more years. Okay and finally, uh, good or bad news depending on where you stand on this issue, Apple finally got the injunction against the Samsung Galaxy Nexus from uh, a judge in California. Uh, which means a sales ban will go into effect on the device in the US. We saw a very similar thing with the Galaxy Tab 10.1 which is also banned here in the states and I gotta say I'm pretty disappointed. I mean I I don't use Android but the devices I've seen and held and you know watched online and stuff they look cool and look great but the main reason I think they're valuable to Apple is just you know their competition. They forced Apple to, to step up their game and to put out products that are really new and can stand out in the market. And it's unfortunate that Apple's devoting so much time and energy to, to banning these products as opposed to, you know, uh, trying to beat them fairly. Another thing that's kind of interesting about this case is just the fact that it took a really long time. I mean, Apple uh, sued Samsung over this device over four uh, copyright infringements in February. And it's only just happening now, and you know, the course may move slow or whatever, but technology definitely doesn't move slow, and the Galaxy Nexus has been dethroned by a lot of other devices since that time, uh, most recently the Galaxy S3. So, these cords definitely aren't designed to uh, handle the fast-paced world of technology, but I mean, in general, whether you're an Android fan, an Apple fan, or whatever, uh, competition is good, and, and, and this is just a bummer. And that's actually going to be your question of the day, is what do you think about Apple getting the Galaxy Nexus banned? Uh, do you think, you know, it doesn't matter, and the research and development team is different from the legal team, so it's not wasting any time that Apple's putting into products? Or do you think that Apple should 
leave Google alone and just really focus on what's best for the consumer. What do you actually think about getting products banned and everything? So uh, let me know in the comment section down below. You can also let me know on Twitter at TIP underscore Jake. I try to respond to everybody that tweets me, so if you have something to say, the best place to do it is there. Uh, as always, a link to everything I talked about in this video are in the description down below, so please go check those out. And for more news, views, and reviews, don't forget to head over to todaysiphone.com.